Good morning, and friends. Here's your friendly announcer. And I got some serious news to pass on to everybody. And what I'm about to say could mean the world's disaster. Y'all didn't believe me, did you? Can turn your joy and laughter to tears and pain. You see what happens when there ain't no love? You got an environment. It's a who what's my little brother that said it? Said it best. Um, Devontae Swing. He said somebody asked him, he said, What's wrong with these people? What's wrong with this music? What's wrong with it? He said, ain't no love. Y'all missing love. And if you never know what love feels like, if you never know what love is, or even just the idea of love, then you don't know how to perform. You don't know how to act. So with that being said, we all missing love. Tupac, I think, said the hate you give, not the love you give, the hate you give, little infants. <laughs> Y'all know what it do. Because I can't say it right now. They'll strike my video. But the hate that you give, little infants, it rhymes with sucks. Everybody. And that's what's wrong. We got a bunch of uh, loveless people from the from the police department, from the institutions, ain't no love. And for one period of time, they was trying to, trying to, yeah, trying to make it equal. I, I'm gonna give them some credit. You know, when I believe Johnson Hart was was intended was was a, was sort of kind of in the right place when he signed the civil rights uh, uh, bill. Oh, I believe that. I believe that. But I believe that there's also a hidden hand, a marionette always going, uh-uh, uh-uh. We can't be equal with them. Uh-uh. Oh, no, no, no. We can't be equal with them, and we got to exude our power over them. And ain't no way in hell. Uh-uh. It's too good. The getting is good. They support me. We're vampires. We're feeding off of them. They're, we're hosts. I mean, I mean, come on. You understand what I'm saying? And so this story kind of leads me to an um another show business story that's kind of insane. Oh, now wait, stay with me till I get out here and start acting the damn fool. Cut it out, you guys. Cut it out. Um and and, and the story kind of bothered me. You know, I know a lot of y'all say, I wish I should have this problem, but I want to know how long should this last? You know, Natalie Cole found herself in the same situation at one time, um, had her mom ask conservatorship over her affairs. So it's not anything that's unusual or ain't never been done. But what ain't never been done is a, is a power hungry father, in my opinion, that just don't want to let stuff go. And, and and so and the way I, is I really feel kind of bad for um <laughs> old girl whose father according to her he makes her keep an IUD in her I mean he even controlling her vagina I was going to say something else. he controlling her life all the way down to her vagina and then that's gone too damn okay it is going too far she ain't that messed up. He said, and, and, and uh, even her friend Justin Timberlake said, no one should ever be held against their will. I mean, Justin pledges his absolute support for his ex Britney Spears in her conservatorship battle. In fact, it's a lot of uh, entertainers that's coming out and, um, you know, speaking out against this because I guess they can find themselves in the same situation, especially as much. Uh, 
uh, stuff fly around in L.A. Britney Spears, she's 39, and her boyfriend is Sam Algosh, uh, uh, Ashari. He's 27, okay? And they are seen together after conservatorship hearing where it was revealed that her father forces birth control on her and treats her like a slave. So he all up in it. All up in it. Let me shut these monsters up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, y'all. They have to disturb my whole damn neighborhood. So I had to make sure I cut that out. Um, anyway, what y'all think about that? Because that's not the gist of my story, but that's kind of messed up. Um, I mean, a lot of y'all say, well, I don't care. It ain't me. But you should care. And that's what's wrong. You know, you know, it, it, you, caring is universal. This can happen to anybody, regardless of their color. So, I mean, what do y'all think about that? As I stated before, Natalie Cole found herself in the same position. But her mom didn't want to um, just control her life forever. I mean, what's up with this? I, I think this is um, uh, um, really kind of messed up. He's been conservative over her for a long time. And I'm glad people are coming out to support her. I mean, unless they can really come up with a real good reason why she shouldn't be in control of her own vagina. Her own, she can't even be in control of her own vajayte? Uh-uh. 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 See, now it's going to go a little bit too damn far. It's going a little bit too damn far, Uncle. Y'all, see, listen. They too much in your business. And this father, I don't know what's up with him, but he should want to let it go by. Now, if y'all didn't put the other little one on conservative ship, and she had a baby at 12, what she have a baby at 13, 14? Well, why are you doing it to Brittany? Okay? Brittany had to show, show business is enough to drive anybody crazy. Chasing dreams like that, and then having people reject or, or validate you on a constant basis, and you actually get your, your life like that? I ain't with it. I ain't with it. I ain't with the insults, nor am I with people who are less than judging. That ain't what it is. And if that's the business that you want to change, some of us ain't got no business in show business. And I was one of them. I ain't had no business. Because, see, you ain't finna play me like that. Anyways, I don't want nothing that bad. Nothing. <laughs> and it's all an illusion of inclusion. Because I want equality. Okay? That's what I want. Not the illusion that I'm included in some shit. Anyway, what y'all think about Britney Spears and her mama, I mean her daddy, and this whole situation with conservatorship and her father taking over her money and don't want to give it back and none of her stuff and controlling her for JJ. I need to hear from my people this morning. Let me know what you think about it. Leave a comment below and I'm going to see you in the next video.